Hey everyone, guess what time it is? Bum bum bum! Literally through the door this morning, so my little munchkin. Wanted to record it when? Now! No. So let's do the grand opening. Satisfying! Well done! Ooh! Ooh! Cartridge paper? I'm in tr Oh my god, uh oh. Oh, ooh, look at it's that. Thin paper. Look at that. Let's let's move the box out of the way there. So So we've got scroller pad, twenty sheets, hundred and forty GSM FSE cartridge paper, the long thin one. Oh it is, it's like proper art paper. Yeah. I think this is going to be calligraphy. Can we what say you? Looking at that picture, we're going to be playing with some calligraphy nibs. That's pretty. Let's not look in there yet. That oh, one. Surprise, 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 surprise. That's his social handle, Calligra, Calligra Paint and Calligra Paints on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so so far we've got the pad, we've got the beautiful artwork, and then we're going to open. I open it because, yeah. It was quite a heavy package, wasn't it, when it arrived? Yeah. Ooh. Do we do the sweet? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a mint. Ball. It's a mint. Uncle Joe's. I mean, Uncle Joe's food. Uncle Joe's mint balls. No, thanks. No joke there, huh? This is our sticker. So we have a. Centro Pen, never heard of them. Centro Pen Liner 2811F, never heard of them. Oh, they remind me of the old school pens. Excuse the state of my fingers, I've been testing aqua pens. Um, so that'll be interesting. We'll have to swatch these. A, oh, I would have said that was Tombow, but it's all in Japanese. Nice. I don't think that's a fibre tip, I think that's a polymer tip. And another polymer tip at the end, so two different sizes. I don't know if one's grey and one is black, so we'll find out. What do we got there? Huh? I know hard muff. That's it. 1860 B. And it's a B grade pencil, so that's just your standard graphite pencil. It's so hard for me to talk, I can't read it. That's because you've got a mouthful of meat. Sweeties. Calig Flex. This is interesting. Flexible italic brush nibs. Only trouble is, some crap at calligraphy, but you get some really nice colours. Do you want to open them up and have a look? So what have we got? A nice chisel tip there? Nice chisel tip. Is it quite flexible? So we have grey, blue, purple, brown, blue, orange, yellow, red, pink, green, green, black and whatever this mastery is. So let's have a quick look on the cards that they've sent. So Manuscript Kali Creative Flexi Markers. A Kuratake. Ah, it's a Kuratake, that's why. So it's a uh, Flexi Twin Knit Marker. The prompt is Asemic Aesthetic. Using lines and symbols that look like writing but do not have any meaning relating to the enjoyment or study of beauty. Holy heck. Okay, so I guess that's like what he's done. So it looks like he's done it in writing or pattern forming to create this owl. I am really going to have to get my thinking cap on because at the moment um, my mind is completely blank if I'm perfectly honest. This really does remind me of one of my old school pens that we used to do school like writing with. What, like black? You know, like Be Beryl, is it, that you use at school? That's what that reminds you me don't of. You use them. Don't you? In year six and year four, you use black pens for reasoning in your math. Oh, okay. So 
So we got magenta, we got turquoise, we got red, we've got green, we've got yellow, we've got orange, we got blue, purple, light blue, brown, grey and black. There's a little bit of smudging on the uh, Kuratake Fude, Fude, Food, I don't know. Um, and there doesn't seem to be much in the way of smudging on the central pen, but it does get rid of it. So we need to be careful. What I'm confused about, if I'm completely honest, before I swatch the rest of the colours, is I get why they've given you this. And they said that the prompt isn't necessarily a calligraphy prompt prompt so they're not expecting you to come out with this huge bit of calligraphy why they have given you all stuff is to annoy you <laughs> is that what it is yes. essentially a checkbook style pad when the artist is doing stuff on clearly larger art paper you're not going to be able to create this using this so that's flabbergasted me a little bit and actually I am quite surprised so I don't know that I'm actually gonna end up using this I am oh that's a really good if you check the back of yours no. there's hardly any bleed on the paper so that I'm quite impressed with which is quite common I think for this type of thing so let me just swatch the colors and then we shall crack on and think of something to do the colours overall were actually really, really nice. They were really juicy. I just wanted to get a bit of a feel for the way that the nibs worked. So I just had a bit of a scribble and a play over a separate piece of paper just to see sort of the thicknesses, the thinness, just to get a bit of an idea of how they worked. But I was mightily impressed by the lack of bleed on this paper, which is a given if it's this type of paper. Um, but we had a play about blending the nibs together which was quite fun so you can get some quite fun little rainbow techniques using that way and then just had a bit of a play so the gray on this pen here is a lot softer nib it's really flexible and soft and really really juicy it's a really nice color gray and i actually think for nice sketchbooks it would be really nice the black is a much firmer nib um, so I personally don't think you get that flex that you do with this standard food, 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 a, I don't know. I really don't know, but food, a. food, a, food, a, food a. yeah, I'm, I'm at a complete loss if I'm perfectly honest about what I'm going to do. Um, the selection of colours are really, really nice. You you can't deny that at all. There's some really, really nice colours in here. I've just got to try and figure out what on earth I'm going to do with them. So, yeah, your guess is as good as mine right now. Amelie's done some fancy writing. So cool. Now I'm going to use the other I thought initially I was going to do either an animal or a scene or something that required a larger sheet of paper. So I decided that I would actually put uh, four strips together just to give me like a sheet of A5. And I'm not going to lie to you, I had to go Google this. I've never heard of it before. And it's essentially the art of writing without it having to make sense. But I couldn't get my head around that. So everything I try to do i it made you know it was words that made sense but i mixed them up and wrote them in such a way that it was more you know only i could really know what it said but i think unless you're into this type of thing or it's something you're familiar with i do think people are going to struggle with this box going on the art prompts personally I ended up, as I say, doing a bit of Googling and I found like this journal entry type thing, which I thought was quite good. People use it um, for like their, their zen, I guess. So I thought I'd have a go at that, maybe use some of the bits that were in the book, some of the test sheets that we'd done and the sticker and just sort of have a play about. And um, I don't know, I honestly was clueless through this entire process. It's worth watching till the end because I do actually do something that looks semi-decent and more in line of the theme and essentially what these pens and certainly what the artist has, you know, as his type of art. 
um but i yeah i really 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 did struggle so i just shoved a few things down i actually thought it was probably quite nice just to have a bit of a keepsake for amelie as well she did such a good name you know job on her name and i'm basically writing i have no clue what i'm doing but i'm doing it in such a way that the letters don't make sense unless you know what they are if that makes sense this whole video doesn't make sense this honestly school box you have me scratching my head and i'm not saying that's a bad thing because i now know something new you know it's good to learn something new every day and it was quite fun and i can get the appeal about it but i i just think as a complete beginner for a first box it just really worried me and i was like really concerned I had no idea what i was doing here I thought oh, I don't know I'll make a scene and make some weird trees and stuff with um, shapes and letters and things like that and again it was just tragic absolutely tragic the the sort of idea behind it worked out okay but it just I don't know it just looked like a man covered in flies <laughs> um, so I decided that the only way I was going to do this was to be able to do it with names so I decided to do Emily, Madison and John, which you all know as Coffee Man, and try and do it in a way that maybe I only really knew what it was. I'm not sure whether or not that was exceptional or fun functional, whatever the word is I'm trying to say. I can't talk this evening either. Um, but it was the only thing I could think of. And it was similar to the things I had seen on Google and the artist and it allowed me to use you know a few more of the pens but god if you've ever heard of this stuff before or even if you do it let me know in the comments below because i'd love to see some more samples of artwork because this honestly had me stumped and i'm happy ish with the turnout um but you know it was just pfft, i don't know just <laughs> but let me know what you think um that's pretty much it from me so have a good morning afternoon whichever it may be and i shall see you in the next video Bye.